This is EGR 101, Week 14, Part 3, Information on Assignments. So this is the last of our uh, Week 14 lecture uh, videos. And if you've made it this far, yeah, well done. Uh, homework 14, the key points of this one is it gets submitted in Canvas. So please upload a copy of your resume. Now, if you need help with that, the Engineering Career Center has a couple of options here. You can either request an appointment with them or you can go ahead and drop in. Uh, the appointment, they'll give you a particular date and time when they'll be available to, to use Zoom to meet with you. But the drop-in is sort of a first come first serve. The way it works is you go into a holding area and then as people ahead of you uh, are done, then eventually you, you get your turn and you're uh, invited into the main chat. Now, the second thing I want to point out is the last of the first year engineering information session assignments is coming due. Uh, please note that you're using the website and videos provided in the assignment to do them. And this is the most important point here, is 20% of your final grade is based on these assignments. So it's a very good idea to do this one. And if you haven't done the previous three, I will still take them. Send me an email and I'll open up WebAssign so that you can uh, submit those. But again, you need to email me so I know that I have to open up WebAssign. Then the final project, on, again, this is 20% of your final grade. We're asking you to create an artifact or an image of it and put it into Canvas. We're asking you to answer these four questions that are on the slide deck. And people have come up with different ways of doing that. Some people have created these uh, type of science fair poster board projects. Others have had a single poster board uh, like this. The most common thing I've seen are PowerPoint presentations. Some people have done videos. Some people have written songs, poetry, prose. A couple people have created some sculptures. I've even had uh, several music videos. If you go to YouTube and search on University of Kentucky EGR 101, you'll see several of people's previous projects posted there. We do provide a rubric so you can see exactly how we're scoring this. I give 15 points each for answering the four questions. I give uh, 50 points for the effort you put into it, 20 points for creativity, 15 points for thoughtfulness, 5 points for neatness. The very last thing is it's time for the teacher course evaluations. If you've never done these before, generally you'll get an email that will invite you to do it. I really need your feedback. This is a very small course in terms of the number of people that attend. So I really need everybody to fill this out. I want to know what worked, what worked, what didn't work, both before and after we went to this distance learning. Your feedback matters. I use it. I actually change how I teach. I change uh, content of the curriculum. So your feedback definitely matters. So I believe that's it. So. With that note, please have a good rest of the week. Uh, come see me at office hours. Email me if you need to. Bye for now.